Good morning, guys. I love just waking up and just seeing, showing you this crazy hair. So yeah, it's 5.45, I'm so up, so on it. I'm so excited about my fight in two, less than two weeks. I can't believe it, like a few months ago, I never would've thought about fighting in Thailand. And now, I've got this amazing opportunity to fight in Thailand. I can't fucking wait. So anyway, it's 5.45, I'm gonna go for a run. Because I'm so up, I'm just gonna, after that half hour run, I'm gonna go to the gym and do about 10, 12, 15 rounds in the bag. I'm not going to do the Muay Thai session because I'm just up. So I'm going to do those rounds and then I'm going to go gym later and do a circuit. I said my training is going to change because my fight's coming. So I, I don't know what I'm doing, but I'm just going to make it up and um, I'm going to do it three times. And I'm going to show you. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I hope you've had a good weekend and I will see you in the gym. I said see you at the gym. But I thought I'd see you now. So I did three mile run just now. It's good because it's not that hot. Uh, it must be 20 degrees or something. And it did it in uh, 23 minutes, three miles. I'm trying to get quicker, man. So I felt like it's nice when you see yourself getting fit. So there's nothing like it, man. Thailand has brought my fitness to another level. Crazy. I didn't think I could get it to such a high level. And it's such a small time. But if you want to up your fitness, if you're a fighter, I'd consider coming to Thailand for a fight camp for a few months and then whenever you go back to where you're fighting out of whatever country, it'll be fucking sick. So when you get into a routine of training hard in Thailand and you're like training with high intensity, especially when you get a fight coming, I think you just get stupidly hungry. Like my breakfast today, I just had three three poached eggs on three toasts, and now I'm having mango sticky rice as well. It's like my body just burns. It was my metabolism was quick anyway. So what I should say is, if you have a quick metabolism and you come here and you train high intensity, it's gonna burn even faster. So me. It's like, it's just So yeah, I'm gonna have mango sticky rice as well, and then I'm gonna get to the gym, which I said I was gonna do, to do my circuit. Um, and I, I'm gonna show you that. So next, next stop, the gym. I'll see you in the gym. But I need to go buy a tripod first, because I'm broke. So maybe you'll see me in the shop buying the tripod. I've been told that this massive Tesco Lotus, which is near, near where I stay, uh, it's got everything, so we'll see. No, dirty KFC. So yeah, I came to the shop. It's got one here, so we'll see whether this is good. Yeah, so I got my tripod, but the I just needed the top bit. It is a little smaller, but I got the whole tripod, and I can just touch the other one. But I got some cool stuff in Tesco. It's got everything. I was going to film, but I thought, what's the point? It's got all the food that you're probably going to need that you want. You'll find in there. It's got bike helmets in there. It's got home stuff, everything. But look, guys or whatever girls if you exfoliate right and you're trying to get the middle of your back you can't do it with your hands if you're muscly like me so you can use that that's wicked and uh, I got myself this uh, therm thermal uh, cup 900 mils and it stays cool for eight hours so get some water in there stay cool yes and um, yeah now now I'm gonna go gym thank you Tesco and it's really hot here and let's just 
zoom into Colonel's face again and go KFC again chicken that chicken okay so I'm finally at the gym I'm gonna do a circuit I'm just gonna basically make it up so um, I'm gonna do four sets I've already warmed up on each one like body weight so most of it is body weight it's basically gonna be That was fucking amazing. I love circuits. I love strength training. I love, the, I've always loved the gym. I started gym when I was 19. I'm 37 now, so that's 18 years ago. I started hitting weights and I was hooked. Just like when I started Muay Thai many, many, many years ago, I was hooked to that kit of pads, but mixing them together, I can't just do one. I have to get them both. I love it. I feel the effects as well with the circuits and the strength conditioning and stuff like that. And, and I, I feel the improvement. I think everyone's different. Everyone's body is different. So you have to find a way that suits you. For me, Muay Thai, circuit, strength training, sprints, long runs, they all work for me. So I, I include them, I include them all. So I just feel buzzing. I feel ready for my fight. I feel like I could go in right now. I feel that ready and still got like just under two weeks to go. I'm ready. I feel more ready now than I ever felt in my life. So I hope that you get to watch some spectacular shit. Coconuts needed. Today, I feel like one's never enough, so let's get two. All right, guys, so I've done something kind of cheeky. So, when I first started my YouTube channel, um, researching how to um, make the YouTube channel and how you can make it and make an income from it, so it's like your job, um, there was various ways, but one of them was donations. And you'd make a video saying, Hey, can you help me? Can you donate, donate to my YouTube channel uh, and then I can continue to make content. So I found a way of putting a PayPal onto my account and you can actually write anything next to it. And I saw the guy, he actually wrote next to it, buy me a coffee. Um, so I copied it, which is what I thought was funny. So it's right there, you can only see it on desktop. So if you like my content and you think, I'm gonna tip this guy like you would in a restaurant, if you click on buy me a coffee, you'll go to my PayPal and you can give me whatever you want. I know it's cheeky, but um, that's my way of asking him for donations. And that way I can continue to make content here in Thailand. And I love actually making this content. But um, yeah, if you guys want to do it, feel free. If you do, I love you. If you don't, I still love you, obviously. And I'm still going to continue to make content no matter where I am, because I fucking love it.